teachers on a master's course at Cumbria University are engaged in their practitioner research. They've chosen to do this through video. The focus of my research is based upon a little girl who was a child in my class in the previous academic year. And that one there. Georgia has thrived in confidence recently. She came into me as a very shy individual and the word I would use to describe Georgia would have been angry but that's not part of Georgia anymore and she's really developed in confidence and maturity. They're all sitting quite very smart and behaving well. She's really enjoyed using the film and the camera and she really enjoyed going around recording the school and she enjoyed the praise that she got off of the members of staff, how confident and capable she was. So now I'm going to go and show you my class, the one with all my friends. I decided to use the film because I thought it was a good idea to capture Georgia in different situations when I wasn't there, um, in a new classroom with the new teachers, but also with the peers that she'd been with throughout her school life. This is my teacher. That one there is Hannah. That one's Billy. That one's Kirsty. When we put her with her peers um, to be interviewed, she just totally came alive. She was much more confident, and it was, it was nice to see the different sides of Georgia. I decided to focus on a project surrounding the behaviour of one individual child and that child is Georgia. Georgia came into my class um, last September as a year four child. Georgia was very quiet, um, although she was a very angry child who sometimes let her anger get in the way. So we started to introduce some strategies that would help Georgia and basically there were time out where Georgia just took a few minutes to go into the quiet reading area, the writing area, if she was feeling angry inside to get it out. Georgia had a stress ball, she had a stress cushion, and we're very lucky in our school to actually have um, a sensory room where the children can go independently. And Georgia got used to using this of her own accord. So these strategies were implemented quite early on in Georgia's academic year four, and by Christmas time, she was settled. She had a really good year in, in year four and we had, we had a superb time. So I didn't want all of George's hard work to go to waste when George moved into year five. And I was a bit anxious and a bit worried how I was supporting it. So how have you found your first four weeks of year five? Quite well, I haven't been told off yet. You haven't been told off, and we get expecting to get told off. Why? Because it, um, we just felt scared going into a new class. Why? Why? What was scaring you about going into a new class? Because it's a different class, and there's no carpet, and Miss Stubbins has got a really loud voice when she shouts. Okay, so was it the whole different sort of setup of a classroom? What do you really enjoy about Year Five? Um, I like all the different art topics we do and paintings because, and I like maths because I don't like maths. Yeah, okay, so you had a maths lesson this morning, didn't you? Yeah. She's working confidently in her lessons um, and numeracy is fantastic. She's very keen to answer questions all the time. Um, but I'm not seeing her take that into other elements. When I'm interviewing her, George is very quiet. Um, and I really need to see her own personality coming out. Something Told the Wild Geese by Rachel Field. Something Told the Wild Geese it was time to go. Though the field lay golden, something whispered, snow. I have seen signs of George's confidence in terms of her reading the poetry. Georgia would never um, stand up in front of the class, let alone a whole audience of people, to read out her work that she'd actually done and she was actually proud of her own work as she could as George could tell you. What do you like doing best in maths? Like what's your best subject? My favourite subject's maths and I like times tables and like divide them by hundred, tens and thousands, but like I've got to enjoy it all to be what I want to be when I'm older. Do you actually like learning your spell and that? I don't like learning them, I just don't want to learn them but I have no other choice. <laughs> She's very reflective and I've had excellent reports from Mum and Georgia saying relationships at home are getting stronger 
and she's using the strategies that she's actually learned um, and she's able to reflect on her behaviour if she does now have a tiny blip which is all they are now are blips she can take time to reflect in year two and three I've just interviewed some of your friends, okay, and I asked them to give me three words to describe you in year two. So I took them all the way back to year two. What kind of words do you think they might have come up with? Bad. Bad? Mischief. Um. Mischief, did you say? Mischief, okay. Very smart. Not very smart. Okay. Uh, what about sort of in terms of your behaviour? What would they have said? Horrible. Horrible behaviour. Bully? You think they would have said bully? Okay, I'll give you some of the words that they did say and see if you agree with me. Okay. Upset. Angry. Unhappy. Those were words that nearly all of them said. Do you think Georgia's behaviour has dramatically changed since she was in year one, two and three? I think she's improved. She took it to the other side of the family. Yeah. After she changed her behaviour, everybody started being more friendly and nobody was scared of her. That's why I think she's kept it up. Um, yeah, because like now she knows that she has friends that um, like believe in her that can like help her to stop being angry at other people. Do you think that was a big thing for Georgia Ashton finding people who believe in her? Yeah. Is it sort of giving her a chance? Yeah. When we were in year three, she used to be angry, but when she was in year four, uh, she stopped being angry and she carried it on. When she was in year five, then she's funny now. The children are nowhere near as negative towards Georgia. They're very welcoming towards her. They want her to be part of their social circle. They want her as a friend. And Georgia's now been somebody that they look up to and they're not intimidated by Georgia anymore. And I think this is making her feel a lot happier to come to school and to give it her all and to just try even harder. The course tutor, Dr Pete Boyd, discusses the value of the research so far. So do you think the study was about behaviour management or was it about the way in which the social setting of a classroom can help um, children to integrate? I think it was geared more towards the social side of the classroom and now George has realised that they are her support network. They're not just her colleagues in, in the classroom. They're there to support her, and she's found that more evident as she's went into the new classroom, um, and the children have really helped her. At what point do you think she became aware of that transition, that they were there to support her? I don't think Georgia actually realised until we watched the footage back together, and the first thing that Georgia said was, they actually do like me, and I don't think it struck her until then that they actually were there supporting her, looking out for her. Yeah, I think that's quite clear and in very, they're very skillful in the way in which they manage that and discuss her behaviour in, in a really positive way. Um, there were some important, I think, ethical considerations because Georgia is Georgia and yeah. she's in the video. How did you manage that situation? Um, initially, I sat Georgia down and explained exactly what was going to happen and explained to her that if... I asked her a question that she wasn't comfortable with, that she could tell me right away. Obviously, I had mum's support every step of the way, and Georgie got to watch back everything that I'd done um, to make sure she was happy, so that George was never put in a difficult situation. Do you feel she was able to be assertive with you and say no? Yep, yeah, definitely. She did tell me there was a part that she didn't like, and she asked me to remove it, and I did. It was her of a inner lesson and she just said that's not me so we took it out okay let's just i mean um claire what did you what was your feeling having watched the the film what, what was your what's the impact of it on you as a teacher i think seeing georgia at the end i think she looked 
like she was quite proud that she'd been part of it with you and I think that that's probably had quite a big impact on her confidence as well um, so I know that you've used all these strategies and things like that but saying to her right I want you to take the camera and giving her some responsibility I think that's that's probably been quite good for her as well. Hey, this is my head teacher, Miss Holder. Do you like your job having to do with children every day? Yes, I love my job. That's why I do it. You wouldn't do it if you didn't enjoy it. She's our singing teacher and she looks after a little boy called John and she does a really good job and she was the one that helped us when we went to the um, that theatre royal for our poems. So I were you really proud of all the children? I certainly was. We put a lot of practice in, didn't we? On the day, you all did brilliantly well. And maybe for different di difficulties or children with a range of difficulties, you could use this video technique and research idea and involving them to actually uh, examine their behaviour mm -hmm. and their interactions within the classroom, within that social context, with a number of, chi with a number of children. And we can all think of them for our schools. Yeah, I mean, I, that's what's great. I mean, it's, uh, the, you know, we can think of video as being useful to teachers, you mm -hmm. know, because this, the classroom's often a very secret place, and we don't, you know, using video can be sh able to share it with other t colleagues. But this is quite innovative in the sense that it's um, allowing a child, and perhaps if we did it again, we would perhaps get Georgia even more as the researcher, as you were saying, Claire. She mm -hmm. would be more in control from an earlier stage because yeah. you just learnt that as it went along. My Little friend Kieran's big brother, aren't you, Dylan? Do you look after him? Uh, yeah, but he's, off. but he's off because he's got a bad temperature. Oh, that's bad, isn't it? Yeah, but, he'll, but, he, but, it, but it's good news because he'll be back to school tomorrow. As a head teacher, Angie, how, how do you feel about that message coming out of this film about that it's every individual child counts? I think it's a really important message and you've captured it fantastically well here. You saw it in a social context and de developing her behaviour, but in fact you've opened up her ability to learn and Georgia now is freed up to actually learn, so that's impacted far, far greater on her lifelong learning yeah. than perhaps initially you were looking to, it, to impact on. Yeah. You were looking for a behaviour change and a socialisation but for her, that's, that's really set that her uh, disposition to learning and how she will approach learning throughout her, her life now. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we're trying to do with every child. Mm -hmm. And this every child matters. There's no one size fits all. Mm -hmm. It's knowing children and knowing a number of things that you can do and having that bank of strategies and tools that enables you to get into every child and open that up for them. What, what impact will it have on your practice, do you think? How effective film can actually be, giving it to the children or doing it myself and actually just taking time to evaluate what's on, on footage. Um, I think I'll definitely use film again, maybe not in the same situation, mm for different reasons and allow the children to take more ownership of the learning.